All right, everybody, Cutco Mike here. I want to teach you one of my favorite, simplest recipes here with the uh, Aldi's Bought Salmon. Uh, many of you have had this before, and uh, it's very delicious. You can find it from anywhere from 8 to 13 bucks, depending on the size. And uh, a lot of you have bought the full sets of the Cutco cookware, and this is the big one here. This is the 12-inch, and sometimes that's uh, too big for most people. I like using this one on my salmon or if I'm going to load it up with steaks. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish it in the oven um, on broil. So um, I won't probably keep you here for the whole thing, but I always like to get you started. So we got the oven. We're going to turn on broil. and We're going to turn this on medium high to get this pan nice and hot so we get that first uh, sear going. And then we're going to also uh, use a little butter. And then uh, we're going to use a little rosemary. So. The super shears, if you don't have these, these are a must. By the way, how awesome was that giveaway last night? Uh, it was a lot of fun and everybody's reaching out saying uh, they're very excited. And if you didn't win, obviously it's not exciting for you, but uh, keep on playing. So what's nice about this here is they actually already have it pre-seasoned, which is gonna give you a really, really nice crust on that. And um, do you guys like salmon? Comment if you like salmon. I love salmon. And uh, you can either throw this on a bed of rice or you could um, throw it on a salad, throw some lemon on top. So I'm going to do butter on this. Yesterday we did the chicken and we did no butter, but this is going to give you that, uh, that nice crust and that nice sear. And then we'll finish it in the uh, oven on broil for a minute or two to cook that, uh, that center to temperature. So this is one of the few times you're going to use the Cutco pan on a little bit higher than medium because we're going to get it as hot as we can, as fast as we can. So if you're just joining me, we're cooking some Alaska, uh, not Alaskan, maybe, I guess maybe it could be from Alaska, but some Atlantic, oh, well, that's on the other side there, Atlantic salmon. Uh, we got it ready and prepped. We're gonna get our pan nice and hot, and then we got our super shears. We're gonna get some, uh, gonna get some uh, rosemary cut. This thing is, uh, maybe I need to add some uh, Sprite or something. It's starting to die on me here, but, We'll add a little rosemary there to give it a little love. And um, maybe I just need to prune it. All right, so we're gonna get this as hot as we can. Always kind of get your butter um, moving around. And this should take about three to five minutes if you're gonna cook on medium heat and then uh, about a minute in the oven, okay? A couple other things we're gonna do. We're always going to get a little lemon cut up too. So um, I'm guilty of not using cutting boards sometimes. So forgive me. I just always send back knives. So even if they go dull faster, um, by the way, the hearty slicer must have if you don't have it. All right. So we got this thing pretty hot, medium plus temperature. Um, we're at about a 6.5 out of 8, okay? So we got it nice and hot. We're going to go skin side down first. And um, you should be able to hear a little bit of a sear. That wasn't as high as I like. Get some lemons there. Get some nice citric acid. And then um, we'll throw our rosemary on the side. So once again, we're not going to keep you here the whole video, but I'll actually post a picture of how it turns out. We'll keep it on here for about three minutes. And then we'll flip it at three minutes and then uh, finish at about five minutes in the oven. By the way, this is one of the things I wish Cutco would make. And I get so many uh, people agreeing with me. This is a fish spatula. So it's a little bit more uh, bended here and it's great for turning fish. So say a prayer, maybe Cutco will someday invent this, but for now I gotta use this old junker. But this is one of my favorites here for turning uh, fish and, and stuff on the uh, fry pan. So we got our salmon from Aldi's and you can buy it fresh and then season it yourself. And then we got our um, lemons, our rosemary, and then we'll flip it at three minutes, let it cook for another two or so, and then we'll put it in the oven for the last minute or two and we're good to go. So all you need is a little butter, a little lemon, a little rosemary, and little salmon. And then the nice thing about this 12 inch pan is you got so much surface area here, you really could cook a big, big portion. So 
Feel free to comment questions, thoughts, and uh, if you haven't heard about Cutco, we make cookware, and uh, I sell a lot of it because it's amazing stuff. You can really cook it really good. Let me see if I can get a little side video here. So you can start to see it. It's going to start to cook it there, and then after we flip, um, we're going to get the other side going, and then we got our uh, oven on broil high, and we're at about six to seven. And uh, we can go a little higher because we got the butter going. Um, on, on fish, um, you can go medium heat if you got oil or butter. Um, the only time you're going to use this on high heat is to boil water or get it hot real fast, but you never go above medium. And then if you're going to do eggs and pancakes, you want to go more on the, uh, the two to three side. Okay, so you can see it's cooking up nice. We'll see if we can get one flip in here. Does anybody like salmon? Would anybody eat this? This is one of my favorite little lunch meals, dinner meals. It's already pre-seasoned from Aldi's. All right, we'll give it another minute or so. And uh, if you want that butter to kind of circulate, and this is how they do it at the restaurants. If you ever wonder why your food is so delicious, they pretty much use cookware like this, five layers of metal, and they sear everything, pan sear it's called. All right, so this is a non-cut go, but I've been praying for... Cutco to come out. Let me see if I can flip this around here. All right, so, so we're gonna flip this one time. Get that skin nice and crispy. Kind of a poor flip on my part. We'll cut the butter a little bit more. So if the butter starts to burn up, it's always good to add a little bit more butter because that's why God made it. All right. Let's flip this around here and give you a little side view. And um, it's going to cook nice and all the way through. And then what we'll do is we'll finish it in the oven here. All right, everybody. Thanks for watching. Would you eat this? Give me a comment. Are you using Cutco for everything, not just the knives? You got to use everything Cutco. Scissors, kitchen tools. Got to have the Cutco drawer, right? All the gadgets. So people always go, do I need that much flatware? Yes. We have this in and out of the wash every single day. We got, I think, 20 place settings. We even keep our old table knives in there for backups. People always ask, what do I do with those? Got our serving uh, pieces. Got all the gadgets, multiple pairs of shears. Yes, we made colored shears back in the day. All right, so now you're going to see a lot more smoke coming. We're going to turn this back just a little bit because we got that, that first kind of sear that we needed. Cool. Looking good. Mm -mm 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 -mm. And then um, what we'll do is uh, we'll put it back in the oven. I know, it's so good. This is the best $10 to $12 salmon you'll ever have. It's from Aldi's. They got it pre-seasoned. So it is good. It is good. So we'll flip it one more time here, and then I'll put it in the oven. Actually, I guess I'm keeping you on the horns here. So if you're just joining me, we need a bigger spatula here for this beast. This is a beast here. This is, could feed a, a good three to five people. So now, right before we drop it back in, we throw a little bit more lemon on there. And then get a little bit more of butter before we put it in the oven. And then uh, this baby's going to be good to go. All right, let's see. All right. Mm -mm -mm. So flavorful. Obviously, you can do with a little less butter if you had to, but this is the way to do it. And then we'll finish it in there for about a minute or two. And then uh, we're good to go. All right, everybody. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you this summer. We're here from you via Facebook. Take care. Congrats to all the winners again.